Hi, my name is Tanya with Tanya'sDynamicDesigns.com. Today I'm going to show you how to upload an eBay auction listing template from your computer to your eBay listings. I also teach eBay classes on how to do this, so if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one help, please contact me and I'll be very happy to help you. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you what an eBay auction listing template looks like. Here's one that I created for Jody's Gifts and More on eBay. It's a flash animated text template. I also create templates without any flash animated text and also templates with a flash animated slideshow gallery. Here at the top we have the banner with the store name. Then directly under the banner are 14 store page link buttons. Now when I create an eBay auction listing template, I will usually put either 7 or 14 store page link buttons on it. It's totally up to the client. Now with store page link buttons, buyers can click on any of these buttons in order to navigate to different parts of an eBay store, which are really wonderful. Directly under the buttons, we have the item description area. Now under the item description banner is where sellers can add unlimited images. And then under the images is an area to add the item description. Now on the item description, it's very important to add lots of keywords here. Also, if there are any flaws in the item that you're selling, it's a very good idea to list that here as well. For example, let's say you're selling a shirt and it has a torn spot on it. You want to make sure that you mention that in your item description. Also, take a close-up picture of that torn spot and include that in your template. That way your buyers know exactly what they're buying. Directly under the item description, we have the payment information area where it talks about what payments are accepted. Directly under that, we have all of the shipping information listed. Then as we scroll on down, there's a section here where buyers can contact the eBay seller. And then at the very bottom, there's a thanks for shopping with us banner. There are four main ways that most eBay sellers will use to upload their eBay auction listing template, and they are number one, by listing a new item on eBay. Number two, by revising a current listing on eBay. Number three, by listing an item with eBay's Turbo Lister. And number four, by listing an item with eBay's Blackthorn. I'm going to list my new eBay auction listing template by revising one of my current eBay listings. On the left hand side, simply click on revise your item. Now let's say you have 50 items for sale on eBay and you want to upload your new template to each of your items. You will need to manually revise each item one by one and insert the new template. Now if you have your items renewing every 30 days like I do, your template will also renew with your listings automatically. Your eBay listing template will never go out of your listing, not unless you manually take it out. So make sure everything is filled out because the more information that you fill out on your eBay listing, it will help you to sell your item. Use lots of keywords, lots of details. Here you can click on add pictures in order to add a picture to your eBay listing. It'll show up in the search results on eBay. Now here is a listing template. It's a flash gallery slideshow template that I created for one of my clients, new and loved fashion warehouse. Now the first thing that you need to do, you need to take the item description out and save it on a separate notepad. Because I'm going to use this in just a minute. So I'm going to highlight all of this text as you see here, then right click with my mouse, click on copy. Now I'm going to minimize the screen. I am going to get a new notepad and click on paste. So there's my item description. I'm going to go ahead and click on file, save as just going to call it item description. I'm going to save it on my desktop because I'm going to need it in just a minute. Now let me go back to my listing. Okay, I've saved my item description. Also, if you have any images on your old eBay listing template, it's a good idea to save those images on your computer. I would also recommend that you upload all of your images to the items that you're selling to photobucket.com. It's free. So let's go ahead and take this code out. First of all, click on the HTML tab, just like I did. Now, right click with your mouse, select all, and hit the delete key on your keyboard. It's gone. Now, let's go get the HTML code for our new eBay listing template. 
I'm going to minimize this screen. Now here is my new template. I'm just going to right click with my mouse. I'm going to select Open With Notepad. Now here's the code for my new template. So I'm going to right click with my mouse and select All. Right click with my mouse again and select Copy. Now I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back to my eBay listing. Make sure the cursor is flashing in this white box. If not, just simply click on the box and it'll be there. So I'm going to right click with my mouse and choose paste. There's the code. So let's see what it looks like. Just click on the standard tab. Oh, it looks great. Okay, now I need to add my item description back in that we saved earlier. So here is where the item description will go. So let me go ahead and get the item description that we saved. I'm going to double click. I'm going to highlight all of this text with the left click of my mouse. Then I'm going to right click and select copy. And here we are. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Now I'm going to right click with my mouse and select paste. Now another option you could do in order to paste, you can press Control Alt at the same time and then press the letter V as in Victor for pasting. And another shortcut, if you want to copy text or images, you can press Control Alt at the same time on your keyboard and then C as in Charlie. So I'm just going to select paste and there's my text. So let me delete this little text out. We don't need that. And you can also just type on your template anything you like. Oh, by the way, it's a very good idea to always use the same font style and color as well as the size of the font. Right here I'm using an Arial font in the color black. You want everything to match up, to be consistent, because it's going to make your listing look very professional. So let's add an image as well. I'm going to go ahead and take this box out because we don't need it. So now I'm going to go to my photo bucket account. The first thing that I recommend that you do is to create a new album. That way you can keep all of your photos organized. So I'm just going to click on Create New Album. And I'm going to call it eBay Listings. I would also recommend that you make your photo albums private. That way no one can view your images. So let's Create Album. Okay. And now just click on the green button here that says Select Photos and Videos. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to select this image here. I'm just going to double click and it's uploading. Great. You can select Upload More if you like or just View Album. So I'm going to select View Album and here's our image. Now, do not click on the image. What you need to do is just take your mouse and hover over the image and then it's going to pop up the links, okay? Now we need to get the direct link. So just take your mouse. When you left click with your mouse, it's going to automatically copy this link and that's what we want. So I'm going to left click like that. Okay, great. Now take that link and go to the top of your website browser. Okay, now I'm going to delete this link out. I'm going to right click with my mouse and select paste. Or you could choose Paste and Go. Let's choose Paste and Go. And there's our image. Now I'm using Google Chrome and I highly recommend that everyone use Google Chrome if at all possible because it's very fast. Now with this image, if you're using a different website browser, you may need to highlight this image with your mouse and then right click to copy it. But since I'm using Google Chrome, I'm just going to put my mouse over the image. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to select Copy Image. Now let me go back to my listing. Make sure the cursor is flashing right where you want to add your image. Now I'm going to right click with my mouse and select Paste. It's that easy. If you want to add more images, I would recommend that you just skip two spaces and then insert another image like this. That way you have a nice space in between each of your images. It just makes it look a lot better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and submit this listing on eBay. Be sure to double check everything in your listing to make sure everything looks good 
and that everything's correct. By the way, where it says listing designer here, if you add a listing designer, it's going to mess up the look of your template. So make sure that's blank. So let's just scroll on down, double check everything, check the price, the quantity, make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to click on continue and it's going to go to another screen and just go ahead and double check everything again. Make sure everything looks good. And if it does look good, go ahead and click on Submit Revisions. So now it's going to another screen. There we go. Congratulations, you've successfully revised your listing. Now, go ahead and click on the link so you can view your listing. And go ahead and double check it one last time, make sure everything looks good. So I'm just gonna scroll on down. There's our first image, our second image, there's our text, everything looks wonderful. Now remember, you can add unlimited images to your eBay auction listing template for free. Simply upload all of your images to your photobucket.com account. Now if you have an eBay store, there's one more thing that you should know. Your listing frame needs to be turned off in order to make your listing template centered like you see here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Simply go to My eBay. Then, under the Account tab, select Manage My Store. On the left-hand side, scroll down and click on Listing Frame. Now select either None or Store Header Only. After you've made your selection, simply scroll down and click on Apply. Well, there you have it. If you would like to have a custom-designed eBay auction listing template, simply check out my eBay store at tanyasdynamicdesigns.com. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.